Casio, Conic Sections, Circle. Now let's try how can we solve for the value of the center and radius of circles without using the long method and also by using our Casio 570ES Plus transparent. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's answer number one. Now if we can observe that the left side of our whiteboard, we can observe three equations, H, K, and R. Now, to find the value of h, we only need the coefficient value of a and b from our general equation. Now, that will be negative b over 2a. Then, our d is equal to negative 6, while our a is equal to 1. So, if we, perf if we perform this, we get the value of h to be equal to 3 which is the same as what we got a while ago. Then, we need to store this by pressing Shift, then Store, then let's store it to variable x, and press equal sign. Then, let's find the value of k, which is negative e over 2c, so that is negative e. The value of e is positive 10, divided by 2, our value of a is 1, and we press equal sign, and we get our value of k, equals to negative 5, which is the same as what we get a while ago. And now, let's store this to our value of y. Then, let's find our radius. To find the radius, we just need to follow the equation, the square root of negative GE. What is GE? GE stands for the general equation itself. Meaning, we just need to input what the general equation shows in our problem that is x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 10y minus 15 divided by a the value of a is 1 so just press equal sign and we get our radius to be equal to 7 which is the same as what we got on our long method.
Now, let's try and solve in our calculator the problem number 2. Okay, let's observe our coefficients A, B, C, D, E, and F given in our equation. Then, let's find our value of H. The equation for H is negative D over 2A. And in our second problem, D is positive 24 and A is positive 3. Okay? So, then let's press equal sign. We get negative 4 for the value of H which is the same as what we got in our long method. Then, let's store this to our variable x. Then, let's solve for the value of h. That is negative e over 2c. Our value of e is negative 18. And our value of c is positive 3. Then, press equal sign. We get our k to be equal to 3, which is again the same as what we got a while ago. Now, let's store this to our variable y and press equals. Then, let's perform the last equation which is to find the value of r. And that will be r is equal to the negative general equation. The general equation is 3 x squared plus 3 y squared plus 24x minus 18y minus 225 then our value of A is 3. Then let's press equal sign. And we get the value of our radius to be equal to 10 units, which is the same as what we got in our long method. And that's how you perform finding the radius and the center of a circle given its general equation using our calculator Casio FX 570ES Plus Transparent. Now, Try to solve the problem number 3. Comment down your answer below. Can you determine the center and the radius? 